Hello beautiful family, we just went for something to eat, I prayed, God told me something good was going to happen, so what we walked up here, we um, put the little stool out with the, you can't see it from here, let me turn it around and show you what I'm talking about, where is it, there, so put that out and this lovely family behind me came up to me to encourage me, they took some Bibles and um, just a blessed event, the first and only blessed event of today, you know, after preaching, the people have been so hostile, so negative, not taking the gospel tracts. But anyway, here we go, guys. I love you all. God bless you, Beverly. I have come here to tell you that God loves you. I've come here to tell you that we're running out of time also because Jesus Christ is coming for his church, just like it says in the scriptures. The Lord Jesus shall descend from heaven. He will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is commonly referred to as the rapture. We're all born again believers. All believers in Jesus Christ will be caught up into the air to meet Jesus in the air and taken to a safe place. And then the great tribulation apocalypse period will begin when God shall pour out his wrath and judgment upon this world. His righteous wrath and judgment upon this world. The world shall be turned upside down. Sudden destruction shall come upon the world after Jesus takes all believers up into heaven. Then the tribulation will begin. When this one world leader comes on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world, this man will come on the world stage and he will say, I, I am the Christ, but he's the false antichrist. And he's going to form a one world government system. He's going to do away with cash. And instead, he's going to cause everybody to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. The mark of the beast. 666. Nobody will be able to buy or sell unless they have the mark in the right hand or in the forehead some kind of digital ID or quantum dot tattoo because they're going to do away with cash and you're going to be stamped instead with the mark of the beast. This is what's coming after the rapture of the church during the great tribulation. This world can be turned upside down in 24 hours, I tell you, the whole world. And that's what's going to happen. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ because that's why we're here. We've come here to tell you how much God loves you. We've come here to tell you how simple it is for you to enter into the kingdom of God. We've come here to tell you that it's not about anything you must do to earn your salvation. It's the free gift of God which God wants to give you according to his word and his everlasting life. The free gift of God is everlasting life. But all have sinned and all have broken God's commandments and the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God which God wants to give everyone is eternal life of Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anyone away who comes to him. In truth, remember this please. Call upon Jesus now. Believe on him now. Well, things are relatively easy because I tell you, very soon this world is going to be turned upside down in war and famine and starvation and death. So please turn to the Lord Jesus today. God bless you, sir. Turn to the Lord Jesus. Don't take the gamble. The Word of God. This is what it says in the Word of God. That the Lord himself will descend from the heaven with a shout, with voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. 
and all who have ever believed on Jesus shall be caught up into heaven. All who have ever believed on Jesus are about to leave this world in the rapture. The rapture is upon us. Are you ready? Will you be left behind? Because you didn't believe on Jesus Christ. That's all. That's all God's asking. Not that you get religious. Not that you go to church every Sunday. But that you believe that you have some faith. That you believe. Of course, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, he was crucified on the cross for all our sins, according to the scriptures. And he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And when you believe this in your heart, you're justified and saved the moment you call upon Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever, don't take the gamble with your life. It is written in the word of God, oh, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Except, except you change your mind from your unbelief and believe the good news of the gospel, you'll perish. God doesn't want this to happen to you. God wants none of you to perish. He loves you all. And there's an open door to the kingdom of God for anybody and everybody no matter what you have done be humble enough to acknowledge that the Bible is the word of God it tells us that we have all sinned and if anyone says that he's not sinned he's calling God a liar it tell, tells us we've all sinned so we've all broken God's commandments come on be humble and say yes of course we've all lied we've all committed fornication most of us have stolen. We've all done things worthy of death according to the word of God. That's the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone according to his word, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who died on the cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures and if you shall confess Jesus as Lord if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus if you shall confess Jesus as Lord say yes Lord come into my life Jesus believe that he died on that cross for you and rose again from the dead believe it that he did that for you for, for you to pay the pen penalty for your sin believe it in your hearts call upon jesus and you will be saved that's it it's not about religion the bible says that god wants all to be saved the bible says that all can be saved And it's nothing that we earn, but by God's grace are we saved through faith and that not of ourselves. It's the free gift of God. It's not by our own good works, lest than he man should boast. So you won't be able to go to the throne of God and say, all my good works will get me into heaven. All the good things I did in life will get me into heaven. No, that won't work. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man comes to the Father but by me. So first you've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him, whosoever believes on him, should not perish, should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life in the kingdom of God. Look guys, there's a heaven and there's a hell. Look, it's just as real as this place you're walking in now. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus is going to determine which one you spend eternity in. Heaven or hell. So it's so important. I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind if you want to tell me to F off. It doesn't matter. No. Uh, um, no. 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 Sorry. Do it. Do, do what you want. Do what you want. 
God bless you all. We love you. We haven't come here to, to condemn you. We come here to tell you that there's an open door to the kingdom of God for anybody and everybody who believes. That it's not about being religious, but it's about having some faith and believing. The only requirement for you to be saved and sealed with, and know that you're going to heaven is one thing only is required, and that is that you believe. Yes, Jesus died on the cross for all our sin. Yes, he was buried, and yes, he rose again from the dead on the third day. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Or are you ashamed of the Lord Jesus? If you're ashamed of him, he'll be ashamed of you. If you deny him, he'll deny you. Turn to the Lord Jesus. He will welcome you with open arms if you turn to him in truth. Say, yes, of course I have sinned. Please forgive me all my sin of my life, Lord Jesus. I know that you paid the debt on that cross for all my sin, Lord Jesus. Yes, I believe that you rose again from the dead. Please come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. One thing, believe, believe. Get on your knees, pray to God, and receive God's Spirit. Holy Spirit, he'll be with you forever. The best friend you could ever imagine for eternity. There are many paths in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of destruction. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, he comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ is come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life for anybody that believes. That's what salvation is about. It's about believing. That's it. You don't get religious, you don't go to church every Sunday, you don't visit a priest. God bless you, brother. Keep going. You're amazing. I am, I am, I am. I've seen it. I know what happened. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless 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 you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you, Beverly. Yeah, I've just seen this. I'll just stop this one starting new one. That was nice, wasn't it? That family. God's gone now. This woman's supposed to be. And I better just keep it on for a minute. The woman's supposed to be telling, phoning the police or something. I'm supposed to do something like that. God bless you, Beverly. I've come here to tell you that each and every one of you is made in the image of God. Did you know, did you know that? That you're made in the image of God? That means God is spirit. That means you have an internal soul and spirit inside you. And when you die, the Bible says you fly away. You fly to the judgment seat of God, for it has been appointed once for men to die, and then the judgment. And we have all sinned, and we've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says this. Be honest. Don't deceive yourself and say that we have no sin when we have all we've all sinned. God bless you, brother. We've all sinned. Come on. I've seen tons. I've done a lot of terrible things in my life. But Jesus has forgiven me them all. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. That's why Jesus died on the cross. Because there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. And God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus. And he was crucified to shed his blood on that cross for the forgiveness of our sins. 
A whole lifetime of sin, by the way. He was buried in a tomb, but God raised him to life on the third day. He, he was seen by hundreds and hundreds of people. Then he ascended up to be at the right hand of the Most High God. And he's coming back any second, any second now. The Lord Jesus Christ has descended from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet of God. And a great disappearance is going to suddenly happen. All little babies, all little children will suddenly vanish. And all born again believers, everyone that has believed on Jesus Christ is going to be caught up. The Bible says there'll be a flash like lightning and then sudden disappearance of all these people. The rapture has happened. You can still be saved, but now you're going to have it really, really rough. There's going to be war, war, the likes of which this world has not been seen before. There's going to be robots. There's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be hell on earth after Jesus takes his church up into heaven. Then this world will become terrible. Absolutely terrible. You don't want to be here for what's coming up on this world. Believe on Jesus Christ. Believe on Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross. Because there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. We must be saved because we have broken God's commandments. All of us have sinned. You can take the Bible if you like. God bless you. So the Bible says we've all sinned. Be honest and humble enough to say yes. yes. God bless you, madam. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you, people. Please take Bibles. I've got plenty more. Take a Bible if you like. Look what's written on these tracks. This is what's coming upon this world. First of all, the Lord Jesus will take all believers up into heaven. But first, please, you must get saved. That's the most important message that this world needs to hear right now. It's the gospel. It's the way to be saved. The only way to be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. And Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. So it's obvious that there's only one right way, and it is Jesus Christ. The Bible says there are many ways in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of destruction. Only Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. My gosh, my gosh, don't you care about where you spend eternity? There's a heaven, there's a hell. All you have to do to know that you're going to heaven is believe. Believe, yes, Jesus died on the cross for all my sin, past, present, and future sin. Yes, I know that he rose again from the dead. Yes, I have called upon him. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and he saved me. And I realized that was the best thing I ever did, was to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please be whosoever, because time is running out. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming. Any moment, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which shall alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. I can't wait. I can't wait to be caught up by the Lord Jesus and taken to heaven, away from this world, this wicked, evil world. Wouldn't you agree, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, people will disappear suddenly. And then... Yes, you're right. You're right. God bless you. Are you saved? Are you, are you saved? you born again? Would you like a Bible? Please take one. Thank you very much. Yeah.
Uh, I, I've got, I've actually got blue ones as well. I don't know what colour you would like prefer. What colour do you prefer? God bless you, Beverly. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Not come here to tell you that you've done anything wrong. Stop. I'm 20 minutes. Didn't realise. Can you just turn it down a little bit? We can't hear our customers. It's okay, we're going now. Sorry? We're going now. Oh, right. Thank you. 